string papers and stories. So this is how to make the tumbling horse. I'm doing this quite quickly, but I'm folding a bird base. You'll find it earlier in the list uh, below how to fold a bird. And you make the bird base like this, folding it quite quickly here. But now it goes beyond origami, I suppose a kind of kirigami really, where you have a pair of scissors and you're going to cut the two bits that would have been the wings. Okay, you're going to cut right down the middle of them. Uh, you've got two points sticking up, one on one side, one on the other. And then you're going to make these into the four legs of the horse. So this is how you do it. First of all, you fold them straight out across so they just kind of stick out at right angles. Do it twice on that side and then turn over and make the two legs stick out at right angles like so. Yep. And again. Now you're going to fold these down. They're going to be pointing down the way that open it up. So it's standing up and then flatten it down and then push it back. It's like making a, a, a kind of mini bird base shape. But you've opened it up and then you're folding it back along the crease, diagonally down at 45 degrees. And when you've done it once, you see it just looks like a little uh, flap that you did for the bird base. Lift it up and then flatten it down. And having done that, you fold it in half. So we've got a nice narrow leg there. Now there are obviously four legs, so we're going to speed it up and I'll do this very quickly. Fold it open up, fold in to the sides and then fold it in half, there's two legs done. Turn it over, open it up, down at 45 degrees, fold it flat, and fold it in, and fold it in half. And the last point, open it up, fold it up the way, and then turn it over back down like a bird base, flatten it down, and fold it in half. And there we have the four legs of the horse. Now we have to make the head and the tail. So open up one side, and just like you were making the head of a flapping bird, pull it through, but quite a big bit, not all the way through to the bottom, so you've got a kind of mane. You leave it a little bit higher to make the head a little bit higher, and then flip it back through. It's a very stylistic horse, this one. Okay, that's the head. And the tail you bring all the way down as far as you can, and then fold it back a little bit to thin it off, so it balances a bit more. So you fold it about there. Okay, we're going to flip it back into itself in a minute. Yeah, so that's it. We've got it in shape. So that's the horse. Now, again, you use scissors and you cut about half or maybe a third of the legs off at the bottom and try and make them very flat at the bottom. This is to help the horse stand when it does its little tricks. And having done that, you're ready now to make the tumbling horse. There it is. The horse really spread the legs a little bit, makes it easier. Um, now turn it round so you can get your finger under the tail. And with your finger you flip it over and it does a somersault. Well, that was too strong. That wasn't strong enough. So if you get it just right, boom, it goes and stands. You can actually do a double one and make a double somersault. Just practice with that and you'll be able to do all sorts of nice little tricks and challenge others to do it. Here it goes. Boom. This was taught to me by Bishop Banichu from Singapore. And it's a very nice one. I liked it. Tumbly horse. Bye now.